Today, Tommy said it selected five companies to build prototypes in a competition to ultimately provide the service with a future tactical unmanned aircraft system. Arava Ramond, Griffin Aerospace, Northrop Grumman, Sierra Nevada Corp., and Textron Systems were each awarded contracts between $1 million and $25 million to participate in five development phases and four option periods over the next three years, according to a Feb. 20 odd Army statement. The Army began considering requirements for a replacement for its Textron made shadow drone in 2018 and by 2019. It narrowed the pool of competitors to a Martin of North Grumman team, Textron Systems of Three Harris Technologies and Archers of Kirubu Yid. If Bib, the service valued the four drone offerings over a year with operational units, culminating in a spring 2021 rodeo at Fort Benning. Kurju, the Army awarded a rover on it. A night dollars million contract in August 2022 to provide the Jump 20 U's as an interim fuse capability that will go to a single brigade. The service reap in competition in October 2021 with a request for white papers, which resulted in a bigger pool of bidders. Major General Rob Barry, the Army's program executive officer for aviation, told Defense News in an interview last fall. The new cast of bidders contain all of the old ones, except for three Harris, Sierra Nevada Madison. Alabama-based Griffin Aerospace or newcomers neither participated in the Fuse Increment 1 competition. Boeing's in situ also told Defense News it had submitted a bid for the second increment of the competition last fall. The Increment 2 effort will include a series of design reviews through the base period of the contract and two option periods. According to the Army, the remaining competitors will demonstrate capabilities in actual flight demonstrations and will go through third-party verification of modular open system architectures during the third option period of the contract. If competitors pass through the gauntlet into the fourth option period, each team will provide air vehicles, mission systems packages, payloads and ground controllers among other tools and manuals in order to go through qualification testing and operational assessments, the Army stated.